I did those too. Well, you don't have very much wall space left. If you need some extra, I got some. Tell you what, I've never made an investment and I've got more fun out of it and more enjoyment. So when did you put this in? August of 2020, year of their 50th wedding anniversary. Hey, that's a good gift. Your wall is covered a little bit different than me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Greg Whitstock, the Pond Guy. This is my channel, Greg Whitstock, the Pond Guy, and it's all about showcasing how people live the aquascape lifestyle. And I have the pleasure of traveling the world and visiting certified aquascape contractors that are installing ecosystem water features. And right now, I am in South Carolina with Jay Duke, and we are checking out some beautiful aquascape water features. Wait till you see what I'm seeing. It is so unique. So it's the same products that we've been seeing all day with Jay, but it's just a unique approach to it. He's got fountains shooting in on this side. He's got a waterfalls coming into a vanishing edge. He's got stack slate urns up on the top, a waterfalls in the middle, every little element, bell and whistle that you can possibly have out here. And boy, what else could you put in a place like this that would make more of an impact than a water feature? So we are in King Street, South Carolina. We got a call a couple of years ago from a couple who said that they were about to celebrate their 50th wedding anniversary and COVID was in full swing. They wanted to be able to do something really neat in their backyard that would give their grandchildren a place to come and enjoy the yard and for them to be able to get outside and have people gather outside and not be out in public, if you will. They had a pond here. It was a very small concrete pond that was completely, completely overgrown. Couldn't even see it. But they wanted the splash effect of fountainscape. And they wanted a pooling type area. But they were very much afraid of deep water that the children could fall in. So we came up with a concept of doing fountainscape up at the top. This pooling area is only at the deepest part is about 18 inches deep. And then just essentially a little infinity edge and everything goes off. It's into a basin. This area because of the clouds you can't really tell right now but the sun doesn't really get into here it's pretty maintenance free few leaves end up in here but they all come right down to the pooling area and i kept the water level really high so you can skim them right off at night this is because of this canopy it is just absolutely spectacular mr scott hammond phrased it this is the true definition of silver and gold they were celebrating 50 years of wedded bliss this couple is just absolutely amazing this is also a a memorial for them they lost a son in a tragic accident and they wanted to do something to just kind of be very very special in his memory and this is what we came up with so miss ellen is an artist and one of the things she was very concerned about was changing visual lines she liked the size of the medium and the small stack slate urns but she wanted one taller she didn't like the size of the large urn so we elevated one and one of the things that's really, really neat is this window is connected to their bedroom. So they get evening views from their bedroom or just right outside. So really, really cool spot for them. So look at this beautiful pictures. And I think this one is my favorite, of course, with the tropical water lilies that Arthur took a picture of down in the Amazon. And you can tell they're tropical because the stems are off the water. I haven't even been over here this yet. This is one of my favorites right here. Beautiful. Thank you. So this is the flower room, huh? And, yep. You got an iris. It's a cool kitchen. And I'm imagining that from over here, nope, can't see it, huh? No, no, this is a big yard. Yeah. Jeez. I did those too. Well, you don't have very much wall space left. If you need some extra, I got some wall I space. I got a whole wall back there. Oh. This is really cool. You are a talented artist. Thank look, you. Look back Thank here. You. I've just been so blessed because the thing was Jay. Very. Like, very cool. Love that. So your wall is covered a little bit different than when... <laughs> wow. That's a few bucks there, buddy. Oh, 
for that. Jay, have you ever been in this room? No, sir. Look at the bucks. Wow. They go all the way around. And then the view from the bathroom. <laughs> Look at that. I've never made an investment and I've got more fun out of it and more enjoyment. Well, that's a, did you hear that, Jay? Yes, sir. And I mean that. And so did my pastor lives right there and he gets half of it. Because he could hear it. Well, he sits over there and looks at it. Also. In his backyard, huh? <laughs> so when did you put this in? August of 2020, year of their 50th wedding anniversary. Hey, that's a good gift. But especially in a COVID environment where nobody was doing anything in public, we're trying to make it where their backyard was a staycation vacation and just make it an awesome place. So it was a good investment for you, but it was your wife's idea? It was Alan's oh, idea? We have a goldfish pond that was built here in 1949. Oh, okay. It was made out of concrete, and I actually got down in it with a sledgehammer and busted up the edge and hauled in some of these rocks back on my back. Was better. Uh, <laughs> but it was just terrible upkeep. It was hard to keep it. Right, where this is less maintenance. And we, we had a guy come up here from Charleston that, that uh, gave us a quote on a pond that he didn't have flattering Jay. He didn't have the artistic. Yeah. He wasn't investing in it like Jay is. Now, our grandkids sent us that for Mother's Day. That little heart with the stone. Oh, I see it. On. Yeah, and that's the individualized. That's all the grandkids right there. I thought you said you had three grandkids. Yeah, three. Stephanie, your daughter. And okay, okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the place you sit and get to enjoy this. All the time. And what's nice about it is it changes the daytime to the nighttime. Oh, it's even better at night. With all the lights. Absolutely. This is a big change from the little goldfish pond that was oh, there, yeah. right? Oh, yes. Did you see the pictures before? Yes. It's just amazing because we had worried about a child drowning in it, mm -hmm. you know, because it was deep in some place. Yep. Plus, it was just overgrown, hard to keep. Yes. This is much easier to keep. The water sound, it's just soothing. And you can hear it from your bedroom windows. Yeah. It's pretty spectacular. I mean, at night, we leave the bathroom windows open and stuff and just enjoy, have everything dark inside and just look out and enjoy it. Isn't this fun, Riley? It is fun because I get to travel all over and see incredible water features. If you're interested in living the aquascape lifestyle, if you have an old pond that you need converted, if you want to live the aquascape lifestyle and you don't have a pond yet, check out the link below to find a certified aquascape contractor by you. I love my job.